So, um, some of you know I've been wanting to tinker with O-Gauge because of things like this really cheap diesel. The wagons are really cheap, but the coaches are really expensive. Um, and they're also too long to fit the layout I wanted. So I needed to make some short coaches. And it dawned on me we could do what we did with Double O, which is to get a short wagon, take the body off and make um, a coach. And Creality had sent Doug a 10 watt Creality Falcon A1 laser cutter and I thought this was a great project to show what you could do with laser cutters. Um, so there we go, that's a laser cut O-gauge coach. Um, really shows you the detail you can pick out and Doug now will explain how we built this, uh, how the laser cutter works and the potential and so on for model railways. This is the new Creality Falcon A1 10 watt laser cutter that was kindly sent to us by Creality for review. The design focuses on making laser cutting accessible to everyone regardless of skill thanks to a few clever features that we'll get into later in the video. Unlike most on the market, the core of the Falcon A1 ships fully assembled, making it a near plug and play solution. And with the laser cutter now out of the box and on the desk, we can start looking at the software. The new Creality Falcon Design Space software can be downloaded directly from their website and it is some very easy software to use. Once installed it will take you straight to this example page, but for now we're going to be adding a new device. From here we will select whatever laser cutter we have, in this case the A1, and it will walk you through the steps. Now it does provide you with a video as well, so if you're doing this on your own you can use it to help you. Once you're brought up into this page you can simply turn your laser cutter on and in a moment it will detect that you have connected a Creality laser cutter. Just like that. From here we can walk through the next steps where it is going to begin doing a laser engraving test. For this it's going to engrave the Creality Falcon logo and as you can see it'll walk you through the steps. So the first step is to load in a bit of material. For loading in your piece of test material which is provided with the laser cutter you can either use the draw on the front for easy access to thinner parts, or if you're inserting a much larger part, you can also use the lid on the top. Now we have to use the provided tool to focus the laser head onto our material. This is done by manually pushing the laser head over your piece of material, and then using the step tool to lower the laser head onto it. The different steps are for different thicknesses that you're cutting, and it's all labeled for you. And with all the tools removed, we can close up the lid close up the drawer and press the frame button. Now what the frame button does is it homes the laser head and then draws a very faint outline around where your part is going to be laser cut. And this is great for finicky parts so you can make sure that you are actually going to be engraving exactly where you are expecting. And finally we can press start and have our first laser engraving. Now one small issue I noticed is it does need a firmware update as soon as you get it out of the box. Now this itself is not an issue and it's very common with technology that you buy. However, when you do firmware updates, you have to make sure not to turn the electronic device off that you're doing an update on, or it can cause issues. Now, Creality's way of making sure that you know something is going on is they make the laser cutter do a really annoying beeping sound like this. Which, to be honest, just makes me want to turn it off because it makes it seem like something is going wrong. So my immediate thought was hit the e-stop. So, a little bit of improvement could be made there, it doesn't need to beep Creality. Now before we get into making our O-Gauge coach, I'm going to go through some of the important features of the Creality Falcon A1, with the most important being the smoke extraction. Now this is done with a very powerful fan in this mod. It then goes down a flexi tube which you can put outside your shed. So you see in this case we just clamped it to the door and you can see how much smoke is coming out of that thing. And one of the things that makes this laser cutter so fast is that they've taken the Core XY design from their already very successful K1 series of 3D printers. And you can see here just how similar the two movement mechanisms are. So it's about time to show you how we made this coach. Now I used the inbuilt drawing tools within Creality Falcon's design space in order to make this. Now it's got a lot of great features including snap to objects and most importantly the material features here. So you can select which material you're using, which thickness, and it'll automatically apply the best settings for you. Now, along with that, you can also create custom materials. So I made one for serial packet card because I couldn't find one that would work just perfectly. The second half of the project is in a separate file. And this is because we need to cut the coach out of two separate thicknesses of material. So this one will be out of mounting board. Now we can change again to specify whether we're using line cutting or line engraving, but most importantly we can also change the camera options. 
Now what this means is we can press take a photo and the laser cutter software will then show you what is currently on the laser cutter bed overlaid with your file. Now what this means is if you insert your piece of material like a piece of cardboard for this then you will be able to see your image above the piece of cardboard. Now what this means is that you can click and drag your image on top of your material. From here you can see exactly where it will be laser engraved and also if your material is big enough. So you can see in this case we need some larger material and now that's easy to fix. And with all that set up now out of the way we can get to making our coach. And so there we have it, a nice little coach, uh, laser cut in O gauge, and you could do it in double O and I think N, I just happen to need O. And that's thanks to the 10 watt Creality Falcon A1, which is a really great laser cutter. There is a link in the description if you want to go and buy yourself one. Um, and I'm really pleased with the way this has come out. It shows you the potential of laser cutters. You've got three different layers here. Um, enabling you to do quite a bit of detail. In fact, if I'd wanted, I could have done a little bit more on the windows. You could have done the, the little skylight things in relief, but it works very well with things like the relief on the end because you can pre-paint it, giving you a really sharp edge, things like lettering. And I've seen some excellent buildings done as well. This has worked really well for the coach. You can see how fine the line is at the bottom. Uh, as I say, great way for picking out lettering. Uh, I think there's huge potential for laser cutters with model railways if you think rolling stock wagons locomotive bodies and um, buildings um, there's a lot of potential there um, and they're only going to get more capable and more choice more and cheaper the same way as 3d printers did but there we go big thank you to creality for sending us the printer to have a go at and for enabling me to make something i really wanted which was a coach for my o-gauge project <laughs>